Hello, Movie Maniacs. This is a very tricky time of year to keep you 100% in the know of what is at the box office. There are a lot of flicks that you're likely hearing about and seeing celebs promoting, and you're like, why are they not on screens in Springfield? It's a thing called limited release. Films are released quickly on a certain number of screens nationwide before the holidays to be considered for awards contention, which is a huge, huge determination of the monetary success of films. Slated for Springfield is Anna and the Apocalypse. A zombie apocalypse threatens a sleepy town at Christmas, forcing a group of friends to fight, slash, and sing their way to survival. Sounds fabulous. That is, if it's your cup of tea. I would throw that cup of tea across the room, hoping to hit a brick wall and shatter it. Definitely not my cup of tea. Green Book will be making its way to Springfield in December, starring Viggo Mortensen and Mahershala Ali, and favorite. This is winning awards all over the place. That will make its way in a couple of weeks. This stars Emma Stone and Rachel Weisz. Also swirling out there is Mary Queen of Scots. Mary Stewart's attempt to overthrow her cousin Elizabeth, the Queen of England, finds her condemned to years of imprisonment before facing execution. Circe Ronan and Margot Robbie star, I love both of these talents. As a matter of fact, you may remember both were nominated for Academy Awards and Critics' Choice Awards last year for their roles in Lady Bird and I, Tanya. And of course, the great Frances McDormand won for three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, which she deserved. I'm excited to see Ben is back. It should make its way to Springfield as well, with the incredible Julia Roberts and the young, talented Lucas Hedges about a drug-addicted teenage boy who shows up unexpectedly at his family's home on Christmas Eve, and hopefully Dumplin' will show up on some screens too. This is one of those releases that is also going to show on Netflix, but seeing something in a theatrical experience is always, always my choice. Jennifer Aniston, she's the former beauty queen, and she has a plus size daughter who signs up to follow her footsteps. This has the music of the one and only Dolly Parton as well. Tops at the box again is Ralph Breaks the Internet, so you might want to take the kiddos to that. Or if you're a big kiddo, you might want to go see that too. Brand new on Blu-ray this week, it is no strange fact that I love Tom Cruise, but Mission Impossible Fallout is fantastic. He and his clan are back in a race against time after a mission gone wrong. Again, this is incredible. It's fast, it's fun, it's smart action. I love this series. Another Blu-ray option for you, but I want to give you a warning. This is not for the entire family. The Happy Time Murders. When the puppet cast of a 90s children's TV show began to get murdered, one by one, a disgraced LAPD detective turned private eye puppet takes on the case. Melissa McCarthy holds her own against these puppets. I laughed a lot, but this flick is very wrong for the entire family to view. Just giving you the warning again. Please let me know what you're excited about. I want to know. Look for a pop-up coming up. Like it, comment on it, and share it on social media. I'll make it worth your while for you. A pair of passes to Alamo Drafthouse Cinema and a $20 food and beverage gift card could be yours. The best place to spend the holidays. Just send us an email in the subject line. Put box office buzz. Send that to ozarkslive.color10.com. We'll email you back if you win. See you next week.